Kubor Nagashlem Jo Nongsan Hima. Ugorov Gogoi, Obadei UMP Kalok Sabha Nagasang Congress, Ula Ongba Uartatin Bakasang BGP, Kan Yok Biang Yiki Artli Kishuki MLA Hapo Kajela, Haganig Election Kaban Salong Shen. Haba keren bat kilat patai kubor mentah ke sengi kongres bahawan Haga jingga dan rengkat lang pat ke Bobita Sharma Kepada ke media koordinator ke All India Congress Committee Bat ke Alka Lamba Kepada ke spokesperson ke Indian National Congress Ugorov ulo ong balada ke seng BJP ke wan haka bor hapo ke jela U menteri rang bak ke jela unom syong hanong bak syelong Bat ke kerteng jong u kan long tangkum ke na Henry ya baru ke jing shim rai an shim na dispor asa. Ugo goi ula ong ba upa Vincent H. Pala ubadai u presiden ke Meghalia Pradesh Congress Committee bat ubadai u MP ula ya kun shisha na ka benta ka bit ka biang ki pat ba ka jela Meghalia bat lada ka don ka jing tombor ki reungat kristan ru ha keleng keri ula ra bat keren nye ka neha po a parliament bat ula keren ru shibun ki aki a na ka benta ki rit pat Bat ban wan ra ayo ka roy ka par hapo ka konstituensi jong u Bat lada u ba Vincent u long u menteri rang ba ka jela U no si buon ka jing e ya ki pat ba ka jela First of all BJP is I doubt can get back two seats Secondly as I said BJP in home minister Amit Shah has outsourced the northeast To Himanto Vishwa Sharma because through him they get all the syndicate and all the they get access to all the syndicates and mafias uh, in the northeast and in the coal mafias and all the different syndicates. So if BJP comes to power, the chief minister will not be sitting in Shinnok. He might be chief minister name only, but the chief all the decisions will be taking place in this. And that is what we have to avoid. We are fighting for the pride and dignity of the people of Meghalaya and for Meghalaya politics to be decided by people of Meghalaya. So, okay. We have our jobs. If we say it's an official announcement, it's a personal announcement because, see, I have seen Vincent Palaji in parliament. I have seen how he stoutly defends the interest of Meghalaya, the interest of the whenever. You know, the Christian faith has been attacked and targeted in the last uh, seven to eight years under Prime Minister Modi's government when organizations have been targeted. He talks about the, you know, of scheduled tribes and their interests. He talks about bringing development and infrastructure. I've seen that. I've seen as an MP how much he cares about infrastructure, uh, improvement in his, uh, in, his, uh, in his own constituency. In fact, I told the constituency that he has chosen that you are lucky because when you get the chief minister, he'll give you more love. As an MP, he had to, you know, divide his love between all 36 assembly constituencies. Now, as chief minister, he would obviously give preference to one. So I told them that you are that you are lucky. He could have gone to anyway, but he went back to his home. And I think that shows his love and affection. Yes, yes. I did. I I, I said it's not an official opinion. I said I have clearly expressed a personal opinion based on my personal relationship and my personal understanding and obviously a clear reading of you know who are the other chief ministerial faces from TMC uh, from TMC I don't want to see the cut money model from NPP I don't want to see a weak uh, incapacitated chief minister who is who was used for the last five years and now has been thrown away and who's been insulted on a day-to-day -day basis and can't say anything uh, in his defense and obviously a BGP chief minister doesn't even come to the question because A, they won't get the seats and again B, the, the, mean, the power will not reside here. So I think I'm in my uh, personal opinion I'm in, uh, and I, as I say, we look forward um, to both the day of polling and the day of counting. Now, as I said, this for the last five years, what we have seen is that BJP are looking at exploiting natural resources and gaining and giving encouragement to the local syndicates and mafia. I have seen that in Assam. In the last five years, six, year, uh, six, seven years, the kind of environment and ecology that we have lost because of the expansion of, of uh, illegal coal mining is horrendous. And this government, all the time, they, for them, the Ministry of Environment is to give clearances 
to infrastructure and to extractive industry. This have you ever seen the Union Ministry of Environment under the BJP ever stop a project because it's going to harm the wildlife or disturb the local ecology? It's always about giving you know permission. So they they are all about promoting big business and therefore whether it's TMC or whether it's BJP, I think the problem would worsen. Yes, there is a problem, but I think the problem under uh, the Congress would come down, would would significantly come down because Mr. Pala is a person who has administrative experience, who understands how to work in both the state and the union government. I, I often hear that in Parliament by, by, by many BJP leaders who say that their target is uh, people who are both scheduled tribe and Christian. They want to deny the scheduled tribe. I've heard that. That might not be the official policy, but this government is heading that way because many prominent BJP leaders are saying that uh, unofficially in secret. And I think that's a major issue. Um, and again, I said, go back to MS Govalkar, the founding uh, father of the BJP. See what uh, he has said for the Christian community. And also understand that the BJP, the Sang Parivar, BJP is just one element of the Sang Parivar as a political party. So the BJP might not say anything right now because politically it does not benefit them. But somebody else in the Sang Parivar, like the Janajati Dharma, Sanskriti Suraksha Mancha, an organization backed by RSS, they will make such a claim and BJP will not stop them. BJP will not scold them. BJP will not uh, forbid them from speaking such thing. So they will not say it, they will get it said indirectly through someone else in their Sang Parivar ecosystem. And if it's being said, then you can see that they are beginning to pilot it, they are seeding the thought. Congress's commitment to Meghalaya, empowering the women of Meghalaya, 3,000 rupees every month to every single BPL mother in Meghalaya. Congress commitment to Meghalaya, an unemployment free Meghalaya. Congress is committed towards providing a job to every household in Meghalaya. Meghalaya, ka jingshinga nya ke imlang sa alang. Ningkong, baro ki jingshan bai bam, lingba ka social welfare, an sakin tiyo siya ka siya jating ka si binay, ka taka long kat arha jating ka si snem. Haka niya ka ap hinyo terek urum pang, siya nya ka siap jong pi haki artli kisintiyo, bat kershan nya ka Meghalaya TMC.